So this year we've decided to change the format of the outer covers that we use to a migratory format, eliminating the telescoping outer and the inner cover concept that's traditionally used by beekeepers. And these are our new lids. We decided that rather than painting them, because I tell you, of all the jobs in beekeeping that I hate, I hate painting the most. So we've decided we're going to wax dip this year. So this is kind of a new process for us. So this is what an untreated unit looks. And this is the first stage of wax dipping, where we put it in the, the hot wax for about three minutes. That drives out a lot, pretty much all the moisture and allows the wax to impregnate the wood. And then in the final stage, we dip it in real quick for 10 seconds in order to get a really nice coating of wax on it. I think this is going to work out really well. So I have to admit that there were some things about the wax dipping process that I wasn't entirely prepared for. They call it wax dipping. But I think it's more like we're deep frying wood the way that it reacts when you put it in there. This lid's already had its three minute treatment. We're just gonna put that final dip on it, show you how that's done. Now we'll set that aside to cool. Now very much the same way when you're deep frying fish, and it vigorously boil, oil vigorously boils when you first put it in, and when it's done, the boiling settles. We've now seen where the froth here has settled, so we're ready to lift it out. Now the manufacturer's uh, suggested temperature to operate here is 160 degrees Celsius. No, yeah, 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really very hot. And really the only reason we're able to achieve that with our wax melter over there is because this particular model, instead of being jacketed with water, is jacketed with cooking oil which of course reaches temperatures, water boils at 100 C, so we run into issues not being able to achieve enough temperature, but with the oil we can absolutely get up to temperature. 